Hello. Uh, this is brave, isn't it? I'm sitting in daylight with uh, with no makeup on. I've just washed my hair and it's all all flying all over the place. Hello, good morning. It's Sunday morning. Actually, it's not. Today is Saturday morning, and I have to send this to Philippe for you to watch on Sunday morning. And um, there's not a lot that's going to happen in this vlog. In fact, nothing's going to happen other than me just chatting. Because, um, as you know, I'm in self-isolation and um, I'm limited as to what I can film and who I can film. And Sandra, my caretaker, obviously isn't working today. Philippe isn't working today. Um, who else have I been filming? That's it, basically. Um, so it's just me and Matilda here on a Saturday. And so I thought I would just get ready, show you what I'm using on my face. I mean, how interesting or not is that? But also it's just a time to catch up with my thoughts on this situation. And then reading your comments because uh, your comments have been so interesting. I've had the most, well, let me, let me just start. So I'm gonna start off. If this is not your sort of thing, if you couldn't care less about what I put on my face, um, products or makeup, then just, I don't know, just listen to the audio. Um, or maybe you don't even care less about what I, what I think. In which case, why are you following this vlog? Now what I mean is not everybody loves beauty vlogs and this is certainly not a beauty vlog. This is a 65 year old woman chatting to you whilst putting on a minimal amount of makeup and skincare. In other words, doing what I do every single morning but it is interesting because it's the end of a very strange week and it means that I can just tell you some of my thoughts and then read your thoughts uh, in the comments underneath. So I'm going to kick off. Everything I'm using on my face, I bought. Everything. Um, none of this has been sent to me. This is my chosen items. Um, and uh, I try to keep it to the minimum. In actual fact, having said that, this one was sent to me. I've never heard of this company, it's called Tropic, and um, they sent me a load of stuff, but the thing I love most of all of all of this is the vitamin toner. Um, oh gosh, it smells wonderful. So, Tropic, check them out. I think they're an online company, and uh, I think it was Karen who sent me that from Tropic. Anyway, I don't usually use a toner or a spritzer, but I just love that one because it's got vitamins. So let's kick off. You all right, Matilda? People have asked, oh, I'm going to put on Drunk Elephant Hyaluronic Acid Serum. All right, um, why don't all companies use this sort of packaging? How easy is that? Look at that, Hyaluronic Acid, which I'm going to put on my face before I put moisture. So that's all the layering I'm going to do. Just look at my skin. Good God. I say all the time, when I started off doing this vlogging, I made sure the lights were right, I made sure I had makeup, hair, everything done. Always went for a blow dry, and now I'm just sitting here. But I think it's really good. I think this is what YouTube, the honesty of vlogging, that's one of the things. You, if you daily vlog, which is what I've been doing over Vlogmas, you literally can't hide anything. So um, yeah, that's what I use. Drunk Elephant, it's the only Drunk Elephant item I've ever bought and I, mainly I love it because of that packaging. And I will follow that with Evlom TLC. This is my, oh, this is my desert island. Just love it. There's no SPF in it. My skin, put an SPF on now is literally like shutting the door after the horse has well and truly left the planet. Um, and I'm gonna use this under my eyes as well. I just, it is so gunky and thick and healing if you've got a rash. I'm gonna take this ring off because it, when I was doing a vlog with Nadine Baggert, she said, everybody, the noise is Joe's ring. I'm also going to get something that I bought this week, well I didn't, my neighbour went and got it for me because I've got no concealer and I said, can you run down Marylebone High Street and get me a concealer from the chemist? And they only have expensive brands. So this one is Gale Lane. Excuse me a moment. 
here we go. This is a Guerlain concealer, which I'm going to put under my eyes. Gosh, I've not used this before. Is this far too light? Oh God, it's far too light. Oh, what a mess. This is what happens when you send someone off. See, I can't, I'm sure it'll be okay. I just, I can't even go to the shops. I'm gonna turn this off and rub it in. I will start talking about something interesting in a moment. I'm just rather intrigued as to what this concealer is gonna be like. Okay. Are you enjoying this, Matilda? You can see Matilda watching. She loves watching me put on makeup. So this is my Chanel bronzer. So I just use this. And um, yeah, you will have noticed my neck, it was doing so well when I was having those Profilo treatments. But obviously I've run out of treatments and I think it's almost gone back to how it was, which isn't good. Um, so that's, everything's like come to a halt. I was meant to go to the hygienist, I had to cancel that. I was meant to go to the osteopath, I had to cancel that. I was meant to take my car in for an MOT. I had to cancel all these things that are just the day-to-day -day life. All of them I had to cancel as I'm just sitting here in my ivory tower. Matilda, got a bit of... <gasps> I'm going to do my eyebrows. Um, so yes, lots of you emailed me, texted me, left a comment actually, um, under Friday night's vlog because the news broke out that isolation is down to 10 days from uh, Monday, from tomorrow, if you're watching this on Sunday. Um, so I was thrilled and I was in the middle of doing my show. I don't know if you can see, look, all of this stuff, my flat is covered in equipment. I was in the middle of doing my radio show and um, emailed the producer and said, oh wow, Amy, they've just reduced the time from 14 days to 10. I knew it wouldn't work out like that as far as I, I just knew. And she went, let me get back to you. Amy's so calm, the producer, let me get back to you. And she emails back before the end of the show and says, uh, no, um, I've referred higher up. And because it starts on Monday, and because you're in the original 14 day batch, you've got to do 14 days, so I can't go out until Wednesday. This is Yves Saint Laurent eyebrow pencil. I talk about this so many times. My friend Freya, who works at Phoenix, introduced me to this. It's actually gray, but if you have fair eyebrows like me, somehow it works. Yves Saint Laurent, I think it's number two, but check that out, it's the gray one. What's it been like? I actually have to say, something really weird happens when you're self-isolating. And this, and reading your comments, a lot of you said the same. You fight it in the first couple of days, then you settle into it, and then you become slightly agoraphobic in that I'm just thinking, gosh, do I really want to go out? I mean, I do because there's so much in my life I can't, but I love the excuse of just not being able to go anywhere. I've said before, and I know my friends who are watching this will go, well, yeah, we're not surprised. I've said before that I am not a sociable person. In my last vlog, I was talking about Alonement, the podcast, and the fact that people think I'm out gallivanting every night, if you think about me at all. I'm sure people don't spend the night thinking, God, I wonder what Joe Good's up to. But, uh, I'm not out gallivanting every night and um, that's through choice because the job I have, the place I live, I could be out every single night. I hate going out, truly. I've been out, I like staying in. So this pandemic, sorry, this lockdown means I've got the perfect alibi. No one's asked me out, I can't go out. I've got the perfect excuse, so that's a good thing. Um, by the way, this is um, Charlotte Tilbury push-up lashes. I saw this being recommended on Instagram and it is really good. 
My lashes are quite good and I put it on the wrong way. What I should have done is a bit of eyeliner. So my friend Michelle, if you're watching this Michelle, I love the way she does her eyeliner and uh, she told me it's a NARS. So forgive me, I'm gonna have to use a much smaller mirror. So I just literally run it along the lash line there. Um, yeah, so I haven't been out, obviously, at night. No one's asked me out at night. And I would love that situation to continue. Um, never had to have to go anywhere, other than the theatre, which I love. Um, I'm quite happy, literally, not going anywhere at night. But what I have noticed is I have started to watch so much Netflix. I also watched The Undoing because everybody who was phoning my show was going on and on about it. And um, I don't have Sky or whatever it's on. So someone said, oh, you can get it on Now TV. Um, Now TV do a seven day free trial, which meant I could watch it all and then unsubscribe. Apart from the fact it is not that simple. I don't seem to be able to unsubscribe to Now TV. They keep sending me stuff and I have to keep, they send you vouchers or something, you have to keep deleting it, it's very complicated. You see, I firmly believe there is no such thing as a free lunch. That is, you've, every parent should teach their child that, and there isn't, so I think I'm signed up to Now TV forever, um, or else I have to keep deleting the vouchers they sent, it seems absurd, anyway the least for my worries at the moment. This, oh my gosh, so how much do you know I love this? This is Pinch of Colour. It is a wonderful transparent highlighter that actually moisturises as well. Absolutely love it. I know I'm putting everything on probably um, completely the wrong way round. This is not easy, talking to the camera whilst getting make made up and remaining interesting. I don't know how many of you think this is interesting. Um, so anyway, I will be back on Wednesday. Lots of you asked, uh, on air on Wednesday, lots of you asked about my mother, and um, that probably is my greatest sadness, is that I can't see her. We speak on the phone all the time. My mother's not technically adept. By the way, I am using, because I'm wearing, this is a, an Italian wool mix coat dress, which I absolutely love. Um, with gold thread running through, quite festive. You're right, Matilda. You'll hear her patting around. That noise is Matilda on the wood floor. It's very annoying, but you'll get used to it. I keep thinking the neighbours downstairs must really loathe hearing that because it's literally like nails down a blackboard. But anyway, yes. Yeah, so my mum, um, she wouldn't be able to do FaceTime, so we we phone on a landline um, every day, often more than once a day. And do you know? One of the best things to have happened over the past few months is that my brother's back from Amsterdam. So he, at the moment, um, is staying for Christmas and is looking after my mum. How amazing is that? Amazing. Because um, otherwise, I don't know what we would have done. Um, so this is the palette I'm using. Urban Decay's palette. Look at all the lovely golds. So I am going to... I think just use this gold. Um, yes. So that's that. I am having a week off. <laughs> oh, the irony. Having had two weeks at home um, forced upon me. I am going to have a week off from the radio show at Christmas. I will be doing Christmas Day with the wonderful Simon Lysett. Royal Florist. I think probably, God, I'm getting in a right mess here. Probably that is my favorite show of the whole year because we have no running order. We literally, I'm gonna do a little bit of white actually under my brows. Uh, oh, Matilda's changed shirt, chairs. She hates this equipment being here. It really makes her, she likes the room the way it was. And with all this broadcasting equipment, it unsettles her, but anyway, she's on her chair. Let me just show you. She'll be fine. <clears throat> so yes, so uh, Christmas Day, 
is going to be me and Simon Lysis. I think it's from 10 until 12. Um, and it is literally my favorite show because all we do is we just take phone calls and say, phone in, <clears throat> tell us what you're getting up to. Shantikai, Shantikai blusher. How many years have I had this? Do you remember when I found a refill in Fortnum's? The girl behind the counter, they've discontinued this, said, oh no, I've got an old refill that we didn't sell, so I can sell it to you now. There it is. And I put the extra on my mouth. There. Mm. Lips. Uh, yes, and then I've got a week off. So make sure you tune in to uh, Simon and myself. Shantikai lipstick. Don't know what colour this is. It's a light, I like brownie, russety colours. You are right, Matilda? And um, I'm going to follow that with a Shantikai lip glossy thing. Don't know what this is. This was a, <clears throat> a free sample I got from uh, Fortnum's. Um, I mean, and this is it, that's it really. This hair needs doing, this hair needs cutting. Oh gosh, and because I've just washed it. Do you find that your second day hair is best? Anyway, so just to fill you in, um, I'll go back on air in the studio on Wednesday. Uh, Philippe and I are going out for our company meal. It's not, it's a hot chocolate in Liberty on Wednesday night. Um, what other things have I got lined up? I'm meant to be going to see Six the Musical at some point, because it's on in the West End. Um, and that's it. What a year, what a year. And Vlogmas, I've loved Vlogmas. I wish I could edit myself, and I can't. When Philippe watches this, he'll be going, don't you dare. Um, I, I'll never be able to edit like he does. I should have used these 14 days to learn how to edit so that I could just do it myself. Um, but I don't have the patience to sit and learn anything. I have not learned anything from this isolation. I've learned nothing other than the day actually does go very quickly, but then I'm working in the afternoon. Um, I'm fine, if only I could exercise more because my, my self-discipline is really bad. Um, you know, I'm not doing online yoga. I'm certainly not running either, am I? So all of that's got to start. Um, what else have I learned from it? I always said, one of my favorite reality shows was Big Brother because I loved to see how people are when they are incarcerated. I mean, being incarcerated in um, a flat in Marylebone with all the luxuries around me isn't really a hardship, is it? But it, has my personality changed? Have I got depressed? No. Have I got snappy? No. Have I calmed down? Yes, because usually, the moment I open my eyes in the morning, it's like, right, I've got to do this, 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 and I have no choice. There is nothing I can do other than vlog. Thank heavens for vlogging. Anyway, look, that's it. I know it's not a particularly interesting Sunday vlog. I know it wasn't, but all the people that I could feature in it are having a day off. Um, and so I just thought I'd just have a chat to you and a catch up, really, and that's it. We will kick off tomorrow with more interesting things. Also, there are loads of sites that Philippe is going to visit, loads of lights, loads of Christmas stuff. And then from Wednesday, I will be back out on those streets, drinking in London as we lead up to Christmas. Thank you so much, all of you who've watched me. Thank you all of you who leave comments. I honestly never take it for granted. And I do read every single one. Often at night, I wake up and think, Gosh, I can't sleep. I know, I'll just read what people are writing. Um, and it's some of you answer each other, which is rather nice. So that's it. I will see you tomorrow at six o'clock. Enjoy what's left of this weekend. And um, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't, don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Bye.